This is one of my favorite spots in the ranch. Juliet and I, we hike over here and I sit in the lounge chair there and she sits here and a lot of times Juliet will fall asleep and take a nap but we, we read the Bible and that's what that's our Sunday service when we're out here and we look at the trees. So and, you know, I'm very, very close with my daughter. I would have loved for her to have a father figure in her life, uh, but he's just not a part of our lives, which, you know, I believe in traditional marriage. I think that that's certainly the way to go, but I also believe that sometimes it doesn't work out that way, and sometimes it's for the best that it doesn't work out that way. I loved her father very much. It was not a healthy relationship. There's A.B., the last remaining horse. I know, my little pony. I think having gone through that, where when I gave birth and I'm raising this beautiful child of ours, for him to have not been a part of that, um, not to not be around, it probably leaves some sort of emotional, I don't want to say scar, but I probably put up a lot of walls. It's going to take a lot, you know, that, that's sort of a, a heartbreak of a whole nother level. So to, to get over that, I think is, is uh, it's going to have to take, uh, I can't imagine what kind of man's going to have to pound down that fortress. How's A B? She's like, I really just want food. I don't Take want me to eat. I'm not dating. I really um, have been a mom <laughs> for 17 years. And it, you know, my daughter is, is my gift from God and I've been completely dedicated to her. I think that's been the, one of the hard, biggest challenges for me. You know, when they're young, you can take them. I did movies of the weeks and we traveled and we did all these things together. But then once she's at school age, started to attend school, that's when I said, I really want her to be in Texas, to have a stability of life, to finish there one high school. So I haven't been on the East or the West Coast. So it's hard to book the work. And I think bringing home the bacon and uh, financially, that's been one of the most difficult aspects of our lives as a single mom. But God has always taken care of us.